Roland DX uh, TXY9 980A. I've actually got it working on the serial port now, so I'm doing the test page print from Winline. So I've kind of made a custom cable, well, in um, on the breadboard basically. I've got them connections from the Winline manual. Serial port from the computer is is a pro prolific USB yeah, USB to serial. So that's on the back of this computer. Hope you can see that. I think the USB port is it? Can you see it? Yeah, that's it. So. Printing the um, printing the like a bit of a logo, and uh, I'll come back as it's uh, print a bit more so you can see. It's all operating up there. A lot of these pens don't work, so it could be some blank spaces. But so far, it's used that green and the red. Yeah, and uh, was it picked the number one which I've just got as blue so I think you can see that so these pens are probably more or less nearly empty and perhaps if I had the plotter flat it would um, a bit more ink could come out of them but I just really want to see that it's working through the serial port that's my main aim so I'll come back when it's printed a little bit more yeah these are the um, Serial plug in, and these are the, the dip switches like SW1. That's uh, the one that's up, which means on. That's choosing to print from the serial port, and then the other one that's up, number nine, that's the RDGL command set. And on switch two, the first four set the bulb rate, and um, the next two is like a parity, I think they're set to even. And then the other three, um, well, I can explain them later, but um, that last one, number 10, that's that's like the communications thing. So that's all ties into the cable. But obviously it's not a proper cable, but it's uh, made up. So what happens is, the from the um, USB to serial, that's like the, the nine pins and then the 25 pin that's going to to the plotter that's the 25 you know the 25 um, connections so uh, when it's all working which it is really now uh, you make a cable up and you just have a cable that plugs straight in straight into the, uh, the USB I think so, let's have a quick look so yeah, you got the um, serial that's that's the USB one, the dark grey and then this light grey is going to breadboard so it's like the cable so when that cable's made up it'll just be one cable that plugs into this StarTech prolific in interface uh, USB then it goes straight to the straight to the plot on serial and again that means you can you know windows, windows 7 windows 10 etc might even work on mac not too sure anyway a bit more progress on the on the plot and um, that's it text is always a lot slower than um, graphics so when it gets towards the end of this plot, there'll be a few graphics 
where the um, you know where the logo for um, wind line shows up. I'll come back to it a little bit later. This is the Roland manual um, cable kind of um, setup. Yeah, so it's explaining to do a serial connection and they obviously sell a special cable which is no doubt impossible to get now. It would have all been a lot easier with the right cable. But that's, um, I think that's how I've got it set at the minute. Yup, yup, on the, uh, oh, I've just got the, um, this number nine, number nine on the plotter, that's on, that's up, it should be up, but it is on the plotter, and that means it's the um, RDGL command set. And so that goes down, then it shows you how to wire the cable, and that also matches, I've checked this through, and that matches the wind line. Let's have a look. Um, this is the wind line kind of um, help page, and there's the schematics. So, looking at the nine pin schematic, it's the same as the manual one, you know, the one in the roller manual. So, that's it. I'll go back to some more plots in a minute more plot progress. Back on the plot, that's uh, doing its thing. And you can also, you've got this front panel connection. So for instance, you can pause this. And unpause it. Okay, we'll come back to some more progress later. Yeah, when it comes time to um, do the cable properly, I'm going to keep the 25 pin, uh, that's on the breadboard, that's the one, the 25 connections, going to that cable there, and then it runs up to the computer. And what I'll do is I'll get one of these um, connectors to go straight into the to the USB interface, 9 pin. So I've just got to concentrate on the 9 pins. And these connectors, according to this uh, Martian Webbit page, uh, which I've, I've actually ordered one, you can do it, sc screw fix them. Uh, so there it is, like, connected with the cover on it. And somewhere on here, it's got the it's got the picture of the connections. Let's have a look. I'll find it in a minute. So that's it made up at the nine pin end. what the the serial plug you can do the screw connection so if you get them wrong you can rewire them but then that'd be like a nine pin into the USB interface straight into the 25 pin that already exists for me you know already already on the um, plot and there's like the wires from it and it just be a matter of choosing the wires that are connected and connecting them onto that screw terminal 9 pin plug ok I'll do some show you some more plotting in a minute
graphic bit, like lines and stuff, is a lot, lot faster and it's not doing text. So what this is doing actually, it's filling the text, which makes it even slower. Well, this is the prolific um, pins uh, and what what signals they carry. So you know, you've got the it's all marked out. And when I made the breadboard up, I used those. Obviously, I kind of um, worked all those out, from, uh, testing the pins, etc. You know, what pin does what, male, female, etc. But that's how it worked out. But coming out of the prolific, like the, the nine pin coming out of the connector, you know that grey cable which then goes onto the breadboard. This tells you what the signals are. So you just gotta translate those so over to the over to the um Line schematic. So rather than looking at the numbers on the computer side, you'd look at the signal, say so RXD uh, number two, and it's actually it's also number two on the um, on the prolific pins, but some of the other signals differ, so just have to take that into account. And as I said earlier, that is also the same. Thing worth noting when you're setting this up this is the um, printers and devices on the computer and I've made the um, this wind this is the wind line and it's installed for me um, this DX880 which is the closest one to DX980 so you double click that and that's the test page printing on there but the, the important thing to note is if you do properties and this is the wind line kind of um, drivers, the ports, right, that's set to COM2, which is um, where it is on the device manager. But if you configure the port and you make any changes, that also makes the changes on the device manager. You know, print the ports section of the device manager, and if you make any changes there, you need to restart the computer. You know, you can make the changes there and go for a plot, it won't plot. But when you restart the computer, it obviously kicks all those in. So that's really worth knowing because uh, there are a few issues where I didn't quite understand that. So I'll cancel it out because I'm not going to make any changes because we're printing. Um, that's worth noting. And it's doing the text, and what it's, it's actually doing is graphics. And this is set to like fill. There's a properties on the uh, wind line driver where you can just have outlines, which is a lot faster. But it's kind of interesting to see. Uh, last part of this um, page, but I'm going to 
pause it in a minute and change the pen. Put the pen in and pause it. I've done that so we need to have the um, bits of graphic in a minute. Um, and hopefully a more reliable pen because there's a bit of fading. Like a uh, say a cab drawer or something, this is the kind of speed you get. page plot and um, I think that's all the information. <laughs> 